To find true love, you must first find a true friend. To love someone completely, sorry, <laughs> you must love them. For who they are and not what they look like. Friendship is a soil through which love seeds grow. And if you want to bring love in a relationship, you must first bring friendship. Adrian, with you I have found my home, my heart and my soulmate. I'm so lucky to go through life's journey with you by my side. Who would have thought that our chats about PBs, racing and our long car journeys jamming away to the Libertines <laughs> would be the start of our beautiful love story. I will forever be in awe of your inquisitive mind, your stress-free approach to life and your kind and respectful nature. I'm so glad I realised that you're everything I had been waiting for. I feel so lucky to be standing here today marrying you, my best friend. We built our friendship through laughter, not taking each other too seriously, always looking out for each other and supporting each other in all our adventures. Throughout our relationship, we have never lost that zest for living and loving life together. We're here for a good time, not a long time, right? I love our story so far and can't wait to see what the next chapters hold. My best friend, my confidant, and now my wife. Without further ado, will you all please stand to welcome Adrian's Bright. There are words that sum up the relationship we see before us beautifully, and they are the words of Tim Minchin. But with all my heart and all my mind, I know one thing is true. I have just one life and just one love, and my love, that love, is you. To me, Chloe and Adrian epitomise the North East. A warm, kind, optimistic people who will always welcome you with a smile. They're a great couple, perfect couple, appearing as iconic as fish and chips, salt and vinegar, and I'm going to say it, Quinn and Phillips. <laughs> Adrian and Chloe, you are the best team, and we are just all so blessed to be celebrating here with you today. I'd like to just take a few seconds to Remember the people who are, haven't made it here today. I mean, Chloe, as my favourite Irish son goes, you're a rare thing, you find as a bee's wing. I just like the toast, the bride and groom. I promise to love you unconditionally and be by your side through life's toughest challenges. I promise to encourage and motivate you to achieve all the great things I know you're capable of. I promise to laugh both with you and at you, and to keep our lives fun, exciting and spontaneous. I promise to make you feel loved, appreciated and to put us first, making sure we're constantly working together to grow. Most importantly, I promise to carry your bag on race days and, sac <laughs> and sacrifice the TV for the Sky Sport to take over. Agent, I promise to always be your best friend and biggest fan. Love you always, your little Paddington. I promise to support you, to encourage you, and to challenge you, to help you strive to be the best version of yourself in all walks of life. I promise to share my love with you through my words and actions, to celebrate happy times and to comfort you in difficult times. I promise to keep our relationship fun, exciting, and full of adventures. I promise to give you everything I have without hesitation and to give you the best version of myself because you deserve nothing less than that. I promise to remain faithful to you to respect you and to remain open to all of your thoughts, feelings and wishes. I also promise to continue doing the little things. To order different food to you when we're out so we can share. To sort the dogs out at night, even in the rain and snow. To always pack spare socks and gloves for the cross countries because I know you're going to be cold. And I promise I'll never change the way I make my pizzas because I know how much you love them. Most of all, Chloe, I promise to love you each and every day for the rest of my life. Now let's go and celebrate.
When he told me he proposed, I was thrilled for them, because I know how much he loves her and what's not in love. Chloe is a great lass with a heart of gold, and I think we can all agree you look absolutely gorgeous, and you've both created an amazing wedding today. We skipped the dating phase of a normal relationship, um, but we both knew what we were signing up to. But what I didn't realise was just how selfless you are, and it amazes me to this day just how much of yourself you're able to give to everyone else. You're genuinely the most kind. <laughs> you're genuinely the most kind and caring person I've ever come across, and have this ability to just make people happy by being present. I've always been blown away with how stunning you are, and today's no difference. When you came down the aisle today, I honestly couldn't believe my luck, but I wasn't surprised that you were late, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I've always known how much fun you are, and your personality is so unique, I can't even begin to describe it. I often find myself talking to people and just saying, well, it's just Chloe. There's no words for it. Um, we've gone through some difficult times as well, and the love and support you show is unparalleled. I feel so fortunate to be able to spend every day of the rest of my life with you. <laughs>